Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Unique Not Different with me, Shamla. About a year ago, approximately, um, I had Justin Jarvis, who is a youth advocate on my segment, and he was one of the most positive persons I ever came across um, in recent times. And I have him here today because what happened, he got an opportunity internationally. But before we actually go into this, um, his new, you know, transformation, I would say, in terms of an international scale, we would have a recap of who Justin is for you to know that positivity that I discovered through Justin. So good morning, Justin. How are you doing? Good morning, Ms. Shamla. I'm good. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. So Justin, just to recap for the audience, or, you know, for the viewers, um, in 2018, you acquired a disability, right? Can you tell us a little bit about that journey in terms of how you got your disability? What is your disability and how, how you overcame that to be? Because you are now a self-advocate and very positive. What, what was the reason for you overcoming this and being accepting of who you are and, you know, um, go into, um, going into youth advocacy? Well, um, thank you for that question. Um, hello, everybody. Uh, in terms of what, what my disability is, so I am a bilateral double amputee. This was caused due to a medical condition known as vasculitis, where the body mistakenly attacks itself. And in my instance, my white blood cells began to come together and they, they they form clogs and blockages. So with, with the clogs and blockages in my blood vessels, blood wasn't flowing, cells began to die. And before it did any further damage to myself, the medical advice was to amputate my legs. And it's so I was fortunate enough that not long after I got my amputation, I would acquire prosthesis. Um, in terms of what helped me overcome that challenge was my family, my friends. I had a really strong support base and seeing, going through the, the entire process from start to finish and seeing the support I had, but witnessing the lack of support other people had, I saw that there was a need um, for that advocacy, but also to support people. And as someone who is coming from a well or family, um, having access to resources. I saw myself being in a position that I could help others. As such, I created my own foundation, known as the Foundation for Differently Able and Underprivileged Persons. And through the foundation, we provide assistance and support to persons living with disabilities, but also their families, because we notice that the majority of persons with disabilities come from low income or, um, you know, Local and middle, um, low class and middle class families. So we decided to come together, a few friends again, again showing the support that I had within my circle. Um, uh, so we, I decided to give that, seeing as I have that internal support, give it externally to those that do not have it or wish to have it. So, um, so something stood out to me that you know you accepted that you know you are at a. Uh, you had a certain privileges compared to other persons at your situation. And yeah. you that as an opportunity to help persons, you know, to, I guess, help provide the support. Now, Justin, um, you know, that is commendable. Um, so you live, I must mention that when you, in Trinidad, you are from a rural area, which is Mayaro. Yes. Which is considered one of the most rural areas in yes. Trinidad, yes. right? <laughs> Uh, no, that must be that in itself. Um, I remember when you had your first interview travel from my hero, just to <laughs> to me, you know, in order to help your work. Now, yes. in terms of youth advocacy, right? What types of before we go into your what what is going on now, right? Okay. What type of youth advocacy uh, you do in terms of who you target, right? And um, not only that, what stood out to you in doing this? Okay. 
Um, well, according to the national youth policy, anyone between the age of 10 to 35 is considered a youth. So that in itself is the main target focus in terms of my advocacy work, doing um, advocating for youth rights, youth presence at the decision making table, youth inclusivity in terms of um, when it comes to programs and consultations, but also in the sense of youth empowerment, youth enrichment, um, because we know that a lot of young persons when they come out of high school, they're unsure of where they want to go, what direction they want to do. But even before you even get to that part, here yeah, is all of we our child is the product of the environment. So it all depends on the environment that you grew up in and the influences that it had on your life that will steer your mental direction or your, your ambition and in this in um in this aspect. So um we also will I also work with more um, even the mature person, because I also um, like to pay homage and respect to our predecessors, those who were there before us, and they were once youth as well, and they deserve that care now in their in their senior um, that that senior perspective. Uh, something that stood out to me is youth potential. I myself, um, I tend to use my life as an example of youth potential um, in terms of the resilience and the strength that a young person could have. And once you have an ambition, a, a desire, a goal, that drive, that energy, that self-motivation to achieve your goals. So the, um, just seeing how young people, once they, once they, 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 they come to, a well, once they make up their mind that they want to achieve something, that energy and that ambition, that passion that they could develop. To, to, to achieve their goal is really something inspiring. I love to see young people, uh, people on the whole, just um, work towards achieving their goals and working towards uh, their aspirations and these kind of things and empowering them to do such. Again, you leverage your story and telling your truth to help persons. That is incredible. Um, Thank so you. now you, had, you get an international opportunity, which I'm not surprised of. <laughs> that you put into your work. Can you tell us a little bit about what, what you are currently doing in Chicago? Because you are in Chicago right now. Yes. yes. Can you tell us, okay. uh, tell us uh, you know, a little bit about this program that you are in? Sure, no problem. Well, this the program that I was successfully um, accepted into is known as the Community Solutions Program. Is brought forward by the International Research and Education Exchange Board, also known as IREX, and the Education Department of the United States of America. The program brings together young leaders, youth advocates from around the world. If I'm not mistaken, there was around 11,000 um, applicants. And I am one of four, uh, sorry, I'm one of five Caribbean nationals who was accepted, and they pay you with uh, an American agency to uh, more or less for you to gain experience in some civic engagement, leadership, networking, um, professional development, career development, so that we for ourselves, working within our capacity um, in our from uh, at home, could now get the chance to experience a broader sense about our scope of work, see how other agencies do their procedures, do their programs, gain that experience, but also to return home to our country and within one year of completing the program, implement a community action project. And that project is geared towards either environmental awareness, um, policy and advocacy, gender and um, work ethics and these kinds of things in, in any one of those thematic um, focal points. Mine is more environmental issues as I intend to implement a nationwide mangrove restoration project. Awesome. So to, to close, in closing, right, and you just um, actually mentioned this, which was my last question, on how do you plan on implementing what you're doing in Trinidad to help you to help the environment? And also what advice would you give to your fellow youths in here in Trinidad? Well, right now, um, in Chicago, I work with the Youth Advocate um, Incorporated. 
Youth Advocate Program Incorporated, I'm sorry. <laughs> um, the program works with rehabilitating young persons that have been in correctional facilities and providing support to their families. So how I intend to merge the two is that the mangrove restoration program will be focusing on youths, primarily youths who have been in correctional facilities as a way of, um, in a sense, serving their time because the, the program looks for alternative ways of youths doing their, their service in the, aside from incarceration. So finding alternative ways and sustainable ways that um, people, persons could serve their time. So how I see to do it in Trinidad is that rather than us, you know, incarcerating our young people have more sustainable ways that they could do their time, but also, you know, learn their lesson and everything like that. Okay. Um, um, apologies. A message I have for young people yeah. is that it's never too late or do not think that you cannot achieve anything. You never know what God or the fact what God has in store for you. You never know what, what opportunity awaits. So any opportunity you, you see, grab it. Grab it with your two hands, bite it, hold on to it, try your best to see. Because you never know. You never you really never know what what life holds for you. And at the opportunity could be one that could propel you very far in life. I never would have expected that I would be in the United States right now. <laughs> and because I accepted the opportunity and I took a chance. So uh, always, always try to achieve your goals and or take every yeah. opportunity for to better yourself, to empower yourself, enrich yourself. Yes, uh, yes. Like I said, thank you. We have to wrap now, but I say thank you so much. No Again, problem. you've brought a great sense of positivity and it's such a pleasure having you and I'm going to have you back again. You thank know? you so much. I love, I love to yeah, Thank you. Thank you. So guys, with that being said, I want to say thank you so much for tuning in to this week's segment of Unique Get Different. As I always say, be good. Do good. Bye, everyone. Thank you, Justin. No.